Hey everybody, good afternoon. Dawn is organizing us a fan. I want to pray for us, Lord. Thank you for your glory. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the power Amen. of God that is ours in you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you for the wonder of the gospel. Lord, thank you. Set that up, babe. I'll keep praying. Sure. Thank you for the wonder of the gospel, Lord. Thank you for all the good things that are ours in you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your for your kindness mm -hmm. towards us as your Amen. as your kids, Lord. Thank you, Father, for for your provision, Father. Thank you for the amazing life that you call each one of us into, Lord, that that we as your children can walk in favor and love and Amen. power <clears throat> and just the glory of God. We just want to thank you, Father, for uh, just being so good to us. Thank you for your for your thoughts of kindness towards us, Lord. Thank you for grace that is that is so prevalent in our lives because of the love of Jesus, Lord. Thank you that you are totally besotted with your church, that you love your church, that you love your people. We want to thank you, Father, for all the good things that are ours in you, Lord. Thank you for this country, Lord. Thank you that we live in a world of uh, um, uh, that is easy to worship you, that is easy to give you glory, Lord, that we don't have to hide and duck and dive, but we can worship and call you God in the open, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's better. All right. Thank well you, Jesus. Done. Come closer, baby. Let's stand next to me there. There we go. Feels All very right. narrow. Yeah, very narrow. And, and we kind no of... wonder you needed a fan because you knew we'd be so close to body heat. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, how's it going? How are you all doing? It's so good to be back. Uh, um, and uh, yeah. being together yeah. for the first time this year for Delta 12. And yeah, so yeah. we've been chatting about the Proverbs that we've been going through. Yeah. I really trust that um, you've been finding that a source of, of refreshment. Yes, yes, and, yes, and yes. being able to dig deep wells mm, with them. Come on now. Amen. Just as a constant and a stable yeah. um, in terms of, of digging deep with the word every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when I said to Craig about today, I said, I'm actually quite excited because uh, today's proverb feels for us like a, quite a huge testimony. Yeah. So it is experiential. Yeah. You go forward, it is, I'll stand back. There it we is go. our testimony. Mm -hmm. However, we're not sharing it for our sake. Yeah. We share it for your sake yeah. that perhaps it would speak into your situation and would build your faith in an incredible way. Yes. So, uh, uh, I just smiled when I realized it was the 24th because Proverbs 24 was an incredible proverb in 2000, uh, 2021. So in 2021, I decided it was in the August, it was on our wedding anniversary, and I decided, you know what, mm -hmm. I need to revert back to reading a, a proverb a day. Um, it's something that I've done over the years, and it, it was just an enjoyable thing to do. So that was the day that I picked up my Bible and I uh, read Proverbs 24. And the reason why it was so significant was because this is obviously right off the back of um, COVID. So we'd had 2020. It was such a weird uh, backward year. Yeah, and yeah. for us, no, it was quite strange. Uh, everyone kind of it was almost a moment to regroup for everybody. Like everyone was, you know, housebound and people had the opportunities to, to sort out their homes, um, in particular, repaint walls, uh, renovate, mm. kind of do stuff because you're forced to do it. And you never usually get an opportunity in yeah. normal life yeah. to do that yeah. type of thing. But for us, it was a little bit different because obviously we were, you know, trying to spend time with the kids. I was trying to be the teacher, pretend to be the teacher that I was never born to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I remember the one day in 2020, it was in the July, walking down towards the house and I saw the gutter was haphazard and I saw the paint peeling on the wall and I saw something wrong with the roof and I knew that our battens and the roof were completely decayed and um, uh, it eaten away by Bora and everything was just looking so terrible yeah. and needed so much TLC. But I knew that we didn't have the time capacity provision at that moment to be able to do it. And also because we were throwing ourselves into this. We were, this is where Delver 12 was born from. Yeah. It was born from 2020. Yeah. We, I came home yeah. from my prayer time that I used to have with my friends over the fence. We were all social distance and we were praying. And I came home one day and Craig was like, 
we're going to do something called delve at 12. And, and it was, so we used to do that Monday to Friday, week in, week out. So every day we'd kind of, finished gardening or spending time with the kids just mm, trying to do what mm, we could a little mm. bit of homework and stuff and then you know try and freshen up and then preach and preparing in between yeah. and I remember walking towards that house that day and I was so despondent the place looked awful and I just my you know my stomach dropped and I just felt the Lord say you build my house mm, come on <laughs> and I'll build yours <laughs> Friends, I want to tell you today, when you sow into the kingdom, when you're serving, I tell you, I want to encourage you to hear those words from Come the Lord. Yeah, yeah. He's saying to you today, you build my house and I'll build yours. Mm, mm. Nothing goes unseen. By the Lord. Come he on. sees every act of service that you do. He sees every sacrificial scent that you sow, the tithes that you put, and he sees those things. And he is so faithful and he is so kind and he is so good. So I heard him say, You build my house and I'll yeah. build yours. Yeah. Yeah. And it seemed like a complete and utter impossibility, but it still gave me hope. Mm -hmm. So on the 24th of August, 2021, just uh, yeah, just over a year later, decided to do the reading plan, and I just said, right, I'm just jumping into Proverbs 24. It's not the first; I don't have to wait for the first. And and I read this: by wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through though through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. And a little bit further on, it says, put your outdoor work in order. And get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Mm. And the Lord spoke to me through that. We had Shadrach at the time that week. Our road looked atrocious. And, and we decided we were going to get him to come. Everyone will know Shadrach. He's done work yeah, at the venue. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so on the corners of our road, so it wasn't necessarily for our own garden, but he was, he was just chopping away with a panga and trying to just clear some of it. It was just overgrown. And I just felt the Lord speak through that. Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Mm. And friends, I feel like the Lord is wanting, because this is obviously Proverbs 24 for today. I feel like the Lord is saying, anything that you invest, you might seem to think that you are literally laying yes. one brick. And you go, what is the point of this brick in terms of your contribution mm, of something mm, that mm. you might do on a Sunday yeah. or the teacups that you set out or the banners that you go and put out or the little signboard that you hold. But I tell you, that is a brick towards the building. And the Lord sees that and he He is overwhelmed and he appreciates it because yeah. when yeah. we value his Very business, yes. he values ours. Very good. I don't know if you want to yeah, add that's something. that's brilliant. Uh, Ephesians 6.12, I don't want to get into too much mm. now, and I want mm. to maybe teach a bit on it later or some other Beautiful. time, but um, you know, Ephesians 6.12 says, Paul says, I, I, I wrestle is not against flesh and blood, and, uh, and he uses the word wrestle there for a reason, it's probably one of the hardest uh, um, combat sports that you can do, is wrestling with another human being, mm. one human being pit against another, and uh, wrestling a, a, a battle, the, the New International Reader's Version says, our battle or our, our fight is not against human bodies, human beings or human yeah. bodies, but against spiritual forces. Every time we operate by love, by, by, by faith, mm. by every time we operate by love, joy, peace, and patience, and kindness, and goodness, and gentleness, and faithfulness, and self-control, by the power of the Spirit, every time we do that, we are wrestling the enemy using the weapons that the Lord has given us. Every time you serve, every time you give, every time you lay your life down for Jesus, you are wrestling the enemy with the weapons that he has given every, you and every, I. Every time you prize his house yeah. over perhaps yours, where yeah. every time you prize yeah. his household, yeah. his place. Now, well, Craig, it's not got nothing to do with demons and wrestling demons. It actually has. Because Satan's goal, what is, what is Satan's goal? Was to stop Jesus from going to the cross. Jesus said, for the joy set before him, which was the church, was the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame. Satan tried to stop him. Uh, uh, Peter, stop, don't do this. Don't go to Jerusalem. Guess, what does he say? Get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. So Satan is trying to stop the local church from growing, from multiplying, from becoming all that God's called it to be in this world. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to stop it every yeah. time. 
we look to him every time mm. we step out in faith, every time we treat someone with the love of Jesus mm. and give glory to God, Beautiful. every time we don't look on this plane, but we look on that plane, yeah. we are wrestling the enemy. Let mm. me tell you, every time we wrestle, we get yeah. stronger and stronger and stronger. And his Amen. bride shines brighter, brighter and, and brighter. more beautiful in a Amen. dead, dying, and Amen. depraved And just in world. case you're wondering, Facebook has stopped Android phones <laughs> being able to go in landscape mode. So that's why we kind of stuck like this. So, we, so Dorf, can you believe it? And um, we can't go, we can't put the phone in. in Hence the reason why we're like cheek to in cheek. More portrait, uh, in landscape mode anymore. You can only do portrait mode, which is really dumb. I don't mm. understand why they've done this. But um, anyway, friends, we're going to leave it there. Can I just pray? Two yeah, seconds? and then of course we're going to pray. Yes. Yes. So Father, I just thank you for each and every yes. person online yeah. and those thank who are going to watch later, Lord mm. God. Mm. Let there be something of yeah. your household deposited mm. rich within their heart. Yeah. Let zeal for your house consume us, Lord come God. Come on, come on, We come prize on. you. We yes. prize your kingdom. We thank you mm. that we can be partners in terms of on earth as it is in come heaven. Come on, yeah. Well, I thank you that you are just fueling Faith, passion, Thank zeal you, um, right now yeah. in, in the hearts of all of us mm. in Jesus' name. Yeah. For your bride, Thank you, that she would shine bright and amen, beautiful amen, in amen, Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Bless you guys. Uh, we will see. Don't forget our prayer meeting tomorrow night. Yes. First one of the year. It's going to be phenomenal. Absolutely. We can't wait. We'd love for you to be there. Remember, when we're praying, friends, yeah. we are wrestling the enemy. Absolutely. That's what we're doing. We are mm. wrestling the enemies. Do you want to encourage you? Come down. Come and get in the ring. Yes. And let's wrestle. You Amen. always come out stronger. Come on. Mm -hmm. Bless you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.